Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is The Dynamic, Sean's View Entertainment, right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns the Hell in a Cell matches between Orton Cena and Rollins and Ambrose. Now, coming from the rumor mill, the reason for WWE deciding to do yet another Hell in a Cell match between Randy Orton versus John Cena with little to no build-up is because the story and history between the two writes itself. It would take little effort for people to get invested into a Hell in a Cell match uh, because both Orton and Cena have developed one of the greatest rivalries in WWE history and people know what they are getting between two future Hall of Famers. However, expect Raw this coming, this coming Monday to be very Orton-Cena heavy. The current feeling going into Hell in a Cell on the WWE Network next Sunday is that Ambrose and Rollins will have a show-stealing Hell in a Cell match that will move them higher up on WWE's radar uh, of how they will get used in 2015. Some higher-ups are rumored to be worried that Ambrose and Rollins may outshine Orton and Cena's Hell in a Cell match, and for that, WWE could end up making sure that does not occur. It should be noted that WWE is very impressed with how Ambrose has handled the pressure and adjusted very well so quickly to having to pick up where Roman Reigns left off thanks to the emergency surgery that Roman Reigns had to have. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is the significant updates on the double main events on the WWE Network for Hell in a Cell that the WWE is projecting. Now, remember, in a video previous to this, there was rumors of WWE tossing around the idea of a fatal four-way attraction between Rollins, Ambrose, Cena, and Orton. But obviously, that did not happen. Those plans fell through the cracks. So what I am looking forward to right now is your comments and your opinions. And who, which match do you think will have a stellar performance? What will we see more out of? What are you more interested in and why? Why should Cena and Orton go before Rollins and Ambrose? Should one of these Hell in a Cell matches open the show? Could you see Ambrose and Rollins starting off Hell in a Cell to a chaotic start? Will there be any shenanigans? Will there be any uh, uh, screw jobs inside the hellish structure? And what about the Hell in a Cell coming to Monday Night Raw this Monday night on the USA Network just days before Hell in a Cell on the WWE Network? So ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions on these two gigantic main events that the WWE has for us. But as good and as awesome as these matches may be, I just can't help but keep thinking that we're not going to have our WWE World Champion on the show. And once again, I, I, I think logical booking would have had a fatal four-way match between four of these superstars with the championship being on the line, the number one contendership. And then the winner facing Brock Lesnar because there is rumors that Cena will face Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. But once again, that's just rumors. And that's what I cover on this channel. It's my opinion of rumors, news, headlines, gossip, and speculation. That's what I do. That's what I'm going to continue to do because there ain't nobody that can stop me. Your comments, your opinions, hashtag Sean's UN on Twitter, hashtag Sean's UN on Instagram, of course, Facebook, and all those other outlets. Sub- Subscribe right now to Sean's View Entertainment. Later.